Hello, this is Chad Trofkerman, and today I will be doing a tutorial on the free transformation tool in Adobe Flash. Now, I'm kind of continuing a similar trend here. Uh, the past couple of days I've actually done two tutorials on two of, on the first two tools in the Flash tool set. And I'm going to continue in this trend and kind of go through all the tools before I move into some more advanced tutorials. So. So for you guys waiting to get into animating, you'll have to sit tight just a little longer before I finish up with these first tutorials. So, Okay, the free transformation tool is actually really easy to use. And if you've used any programs in the past, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, I mean, any type of drawing program, you're probably familiar with this. So we're just going to jump right in here. The first thing we're going to do is create a square so that we can mess around with it with this tool so let's go over to the uh, square or rectangle tool and uh, click that and then we'll go over to the stage here and then we'll click hold drag and draw a square there we go now we are gonna select the free transformation tool which is the third tool on the tool set so if you come over here, and it's right there, we'll click that. And now we'll bring our cursor over here. And in order to manipulate the object we just drew, we're going to need to select it. So, and this can be very easily done by just click, hold, and dragging a selection area around the square, just like that, and then letting go. And now you'll notice that there's nine little box little black boxes surrounding the square and if you remember the sub selection tool if you don't that's okay but it kinda did something similar where it created focal points and this is actually very similar to uh, that in that these focal points allow you to resize the square so uh, Let's just uh, see this in action here. If we go over to, let's say, the uh, this one right here, you'll notice that our cursor changes to like double arrows back to back. This basically means that we can rotate this, um, we can resize this, sorry, horizontally in any direction. So if we click, hold, and drag this, we can see that is what it does. Now, alternatively, if we go up here to one of the top or bottom ones, we get the back-to-back -back arrow icon again, except this time it's in a vertical position and not a horizontal position. And this obviously means that we can resize this vertically only. Now, let's say we want to resize the whole thing. Well, that's simply done by coming over here, and we'll see an icon up here. It's like a diagonal um, arrows going back to back, just similar to what we've done before. And if we click, hold, and drag this, we can actually resize the entire thing very easily. Now, a trick we, we can do here is let's, if you'll notice, when we resize this, you know, you can kind of put it in any direction. But what if we want to resize the whole square and keep it in proportion? Well, this is very easily done by holding in the shift key and then dragging the squares uh, diagonal area. And you'll notice that the whole thing, you're really res you're restricted to uh, resizing this proportionately so that it proportionately resizes. So you can keep your proportions but resize it however you want. So, and there are a couple more things we can do with uh, the free transformation tool. For instance, if we come over here, we, you'll notice that a new icon appears, and it's kind of like a half circle with an arrow pointing downward. Well, this simply means that we can rotate at this focal point. So if we click, hold, and drag this, we can uh, rotate it any, any way we want. Just come over here and rotate away, basically. So. And you can also skew objects based on using the selection on this free transformation tool. And in order to do this, 
we actually go in between the focal points. So if we come over here, and when I put my cursor near there, you'll notice it switches to kind of a weird parallel line icon. And this basically means we can skew this area. And if we click, hold, and drag this, you can see this kind of taking place. And if you release, you'll see that it, uh, you know, it, it skews it in a way to where it almost kind of makes a 3D effect. Not so much, but you can kind of make a 3D effect out of this if you apply other shapes to it. And so, this is that's kind of a neat feature as well. And you can do the same up here, too. If you come up here in between on the top horizontal line, you'll notice that same line appears except it's horizontally. And then you click, hold, and drag this, and then you can go this way with it. Or this way, whichever way you want to go. And release. And you know, you can combine the two to kind of go like this. And you know, it's it's really useful when kind of getting into more creative aspects of Flash. And I mean, the free transformation tool is especially useful when you draw something and it's just not quite sized the way you want it to. You want it a little bigger or a little smaller or whatever. So, I mean, like I said, the free transformation tool is pretty straightforward and it's pretty basic. So, and it's pretty easy to master, but it's pretty essential when using Flash. So, okay, well, I'm out of here. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you guys next time.